obviously we're looking ahead to the final. Um, a little break from the league, the Daniel MG Cup final. First time we've ever been in there as a club. What do you reckon that means to the boys? Um, yeah, it's it's obviously quite an achievement. Um, probably more so almost from the outside, I think, us as a group of boys. And, you know, of course we want to get to finals, we want to be successful, we want to win things. Um, you know, but for us, we, we try our best just to take each game as it comes. Um, yes, it's a final, yes, it's a big game. Um, and, you know, regardless of, of the opposition, I, I think we always sort of believe in ourselves that we can we can go and get results, um, whoever the opposition may be. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to be in the final. Um, you know, with it being, with it being TNS, it, it'll be a different challenge um, to what we probably tend to face um, week to week. Um, but yeah, the boys will be the boys will be well up for it. Um, obviously, we've got a couple of different injuries and, and whatever, so a lot of the boys will be putting the name into the hat to, to try and be starting for the final and, and to get himself into the squad. So yeah, the you know the atmosphere and around the camp at the moment is is, is pretty good. Um, you know, as, obviously as well as the cup, there's there's the league to contend with and, and everything else that comes with that as well. So. Yeah, obviously, it's a break from the league. How's this, how's it been going this year? How would you summarise our season so far? Um, I, I suppose totally different from last year in terms of how it started. Last year it was very much we started poorly, uh, didn't pick up a win till our seventh game. Whereas this year we we uh, managed to hit the ground running um, a lot quicker. Um, I'd say that's mainly due to you know understanding the league, understanding what's expected, um, what you actually have to do to win games, um, as opposed to just performing well and. And you know, at times playing good football but not getting results. So I think we've we've definitely sort of changed not the way that we play, but we've we've improved our understanding of the game and and what it takes to actually you know get results in the league. So yeah, so far we like I say we started very well, um, got ourselves um, into a very a very good position, um, and then probably over the last uh, five, six, seven games we'd we'd probably also be pretty disappointed with how, how it's gone um, Definitely. you know we've we've had injuries but I wouldn't really use that as an excuse you know we've got a big squad and we've got such a good depth to the squad that you know when, when boys do you know fall out of the team due to injury we've got so much quality um, as a group of probably 25 maybe up to 30 players um, that are able to step in and to do a job um, the problem that we, we do sort of have is, is the level that um, the boys may play when they're not playing Welsh League football, yeah. uh, well, Welsh Premier League football um, at times, and there, there can be quite a jump um, between the levels, which can be difficult. But um, but yeah, that's that's part of the part of the challenge. And I think the boys that have, have stepped in recently have done well, um, probably done better than what the what the results have suggested at times. So. They've done well. Um, two games against TNS so far. See so a nil-nil draw at home. Nearly nicked it at the end with Evans volley, um, and then a two-one defeat down at their place. Um, and what do you reckon uh, they'll be thinking about us going into the fixture? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think you know the vast majority of teams that they play against will put 10, 11 men behind the ball, and, and it's there for them to break it down. And not saying that we'll be you know too far away from from doing something similar, but I think that. I think in the games this season and every time that we've played TNS we've started to get more of a foothold in the game. It's not just us going there to show up sharp um, and try our best just to get a point out of the game. I, I honestly believe that that we're good enough to go to those games um, and you know, take take three points from it or or you know win the game. So um, yeah, I, I think you know. I think they'll be respectful of us. They they always sort of have been, um, and you know we we have to be obviously respectful of them as well. Um, but yeah, I, you know, depending on what team starts, they may may or may not have seen some of the boys sort of play before, so it may be a bit of a different task. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll have to see how they set up. You know, they're they're very good at what they do. You know, they like to try and get the ball down, and I'd say that we're similar in that sense. So. Hopefully it makes for makes for what could be a good game and hopefully you know an entertaining one for the neutral and a positive one for ourselves. Yeah, decent place to go as well, Aber. 
and decent pitch as well, so hopefully a good game for the cameras. Yeah. What brought you to the club? I mean, we've both been here, what, six, seven seasons? Yeah. What brought you here originally? Yeah. We're a little bit different. I know people think we're full-time or whatever, but we're a little bit different to other places. Yeah. What What brought you to Cardiff and then what, what, what made you want to play for Cardiff Met? Um, you know, first and foremost, is it's about the education. You know, I came here to study, I wanted to get a degree. Um, thought I was going to sort of do three years and, and move on and do my teaching qualification. Um, and, you know, the course that they offered here was was the, the major factor. Um, I knew a little bit about the football. I knew, I knew they had football teams, which, you know, most universities do anyway. Um, I wasn't quite aware of, well, going back six, seven years, I, I, I've never thought we'd be in the position yeah. that we are now when I came here. But um, That isn't what brought us here, really, I don't think, no. was it? Because it wasn't like that when we arrived. No, and, you know, when we arrived and we're in Division 3, we've got a reserve team. Um, you know, we've got four teams on a Wednesday, whereas now we've got six teams on a Wednesday. And, you know, it, it's progressed so much over over quite a short space of time, yeah. um, really. So that wasn't what brought me to Cardiff. You know, I wanted to study here. Um, I'd been here a couple of times before. I, I like the city. Um, so yeah, it, it was more the university that really brought me here. Uh, the football, you know, was was another factor on a personal level that I've always sort of played football, and that's what. You know, that's what I wanted to do whilst I was studying, but um, yeah, that, that wasn't the reason for me, for me coming here. And you say obviously it's progressed so much, and even for anyone that doesn't really know, what's happened over these last six seasons? Yeah, so like I say, when I arrived, we were Welsh Division 3. Um, we've, you know, over the last sort of five, six years, managed to sort of take our way, you know, up through the leagues, and that's that's quite difficult for university football. Um, you know, I remember when we first started, it was a real issue to try and get boys to stay over the Christmas periods, mm. to stay over Easter, to come back early. You'd for have like twelve players. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, you'd have you'd have coaches on the bench, and you know, you'd be scraping to get a team together. Um, you know, university term time generally starts towards the end of September. Um, you know, this this summer, and you know, for the last couple of summers, we, we've been in from the start of July. So it is a it's a big commitment. Um, a lot of the boys, um, to, you know, to come back and, and to do that. So yeah, like I say, we we in Division Three um, managed to um, you know get promotion to uh, the second division, go straight up to from the second division to the first division the following season, um, and then we spent two years um, two years in, in Welsh Division One. So uh, the first season in there, we we missed out on Welsh, well, we missed out on promotion by. By a goal on goal difference, which was hard to take, um, but you know that's that's something that we always spoke about, and you know that's something that helped to drive us forward again as a club. You know the disappointment of being so close, yet you know having another season in, in Welsh Division One, um, and then yeah, you know for the last two seasons now, or well, last eighteen months, we've we've been a Welsh Premier League side. Um, was that the biggest step up through the divisions? Do you think from from Welsh League Div One yeah. to the Prem? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, with no disrespect to the other leagues, um, you know they're they're quite they're quite similar. You know, um, each year you have got the leagues. You know, you, you come against better players. You come against teams that are, you know maybe better organised, maybe a fitter group. Um, but definitely going into the Welsh Prem, we you know we find ourselves now week in week out in competitive fixtures, where if you're if you're not on the money. Um, you know, you're not going to come away with anything from the game. So um, it was it was definitely the biggest step up going into into the Welsh Premier League, and you know that's that's probably reflective in how we started. You know, like I said, we didn't get a win until our seventh game in our first season in there. Um, and again, I don't think that's because we were playing really poor football. I think we're actually playing we're actually playing pretty good football, um, but we weren't uh, as savvy and we didn't quite understand what it took to actually go and get results and not to move away from our style um, of football that we like to play but you know it's a results business and you have to adapt to you know to the to the league and to the opposition um, in order that you actually get results it's, it's, it's no good you know playing nice football and losing every week um, Pointless. yeah and that's that's how we sort of we uh, well that's the position we found ourselves in early on in the Welsh Premier League but I think we've been able to adapt and yeah, we've been able to sort of understand the league a bit better and um, 
yeah, it's you know we've got ambitions and aspirations, you know, to keep striving forwards. Um, but generally, so far, I'd, I'd say we've, we've done fairly well and equipped ourselves fairly well in the league. And, um, I'd like to think we're a good addition to the league, or you know, I think we bring something a bit different. Yeah, I'm not it's not liked by all. No. Um, but I think we bring something different.